So, let's talk about Payday 2. On the Switch. Launching on the 24th of February and the 27th in the US, Payday 2 is a cooperative action game taking inspiration from Reservoir Dogs and Heat, along other heist movies. Now, of course, I'm a Payday channel. I already know this stuff. You already know this stuff, probably. But if you don't, well, consider this a buyer's guide for Payday 2 on the Switch. We're going to talk about it if you're new to Payday, as well as what to expect from the Switch port if you're a veteran of the game. So let's do it. First off, inside the box is just the cartridge, no manual, no little feely thingies, not even a reversible cover like with Nintendo's titles. It's a bit disappointing, but that's not the game. This is the game. So let's start with what to expect for new players. Payday 2 is a cooperative first person shooter, which the Switch has been desperately lacking. It's got first person shooters, just not anything like this. Additionally, this game is packed with content. There's tons of guns to unlock, over a dozen perk decks to level up, all which fundamentally change your role in the game. You can invest in Grinder and heal rapidly as you fight, which is good for shotgunners or submachine guns. Rogue ups your dodge chance, which is good for pistols or completing objectives. Armor keeps you in the middle of the fight, which is good for assault rifles with big magazines. And if you invest in a deck like Crook or Anarchist, you can double dip and dodge and armor if you want. And just All of this is further modified by the skills you can invest in and the weapons you bring and the mods you attach to those weapons. You get tons of characters and masks to customize your appearance and tons of different profiles to make all sorts of builds and try lots of new things. You just, you get a ton of options. But I do need to mention that the PC version is much more recent in terms of updates and will receive updates more frequently. If you are considering getting this game for the first time, if you have a gaming computer, you can get a more updated game for the same price. If not, then the Switch version is a perfectly acceptable version of the game. There's just a couple caveats. There's no motion controls or any chat. Uh, motion controls when in moderation, like in Breath of the Wild when you draw the bow, in my opinion feel really, really good, but there's no option to enable them with aiming, which makes shooting really sticky or slippery unless you use a shotgun. Additionally, there's zero chat, not even like a text chat, which makes it hard to communicate things like operating the huge drill in Golden Green Casino or playing Goat Simulator as a whole. Yeah, um, this game's got a mission literally called Goat Simulator. Um, that's where we're at. <laughs> There are some things to keep in mind at this game, especially if you're a veteran. This is going to be a bit more technical, so if you're new to the game, this will probably just sound like a lot of numbers and weird terms. But it's all important to take into account. Pity 2 on the Switch is running update 114. It's got medics, but not the chain's mask pack, not the goliath, nor panic room. That said, it does have mayhem and one down, which I thought the game would have lacked, honestly. Additionally, if you're used to the broomstick, sociopath, or LMG buffs, those aren't in this game yet. So that cuts down your weapon and perk options if you're used to packing katana in the RPK and mowing down a crowd like you can on the PC version. The visuals are downgraded as well, but they're not terribly downgraded. It's passable, and again, the Switch is a portable console. Stick it in your bag. That doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me, though, is its frame rate. I get it. The Switch is a portable console. And they told us it'd run at 30 FPS, whether it was docked or undocked. And when it runs at 30 FPS, it looks fine. When? The menus seemingly run sub-30, and heists like Goat Simulator just aren't very playable. All I can really say is take your time. Also, play like a ton of heists, like, like a ton of heists. All the achievement mods are unlocked via card drops now, um, because there are no achievements, and that includes your shotgun ammo types, your AK car pack items, and there's no continental coins to get what you need now, because there's no new safe house, and there's no side job grinding to get what you want, because side jobs are also mysteriously gone. Yeah, that's, um, that, that, that's definitely a way to make the Switch version a little different. There's a lot of weird missing bits here and there. There's no mute contractors button, there's no item or throwable contours, which okay, they might not have been in the game until after update 114, but also missing are any solid crime net filters. You just have a friends only button, which is weird. One thing I do need to mention though, is that it seems like the pickup rate for being able to pick up like the loose cash and jewelry, it seems a lot lower in this one. It seems like you can pick up really only about like one per second, whereas in the PC version you can mash that F key over and over. I'm not sure what's up with that, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if that's something they intentionally did. It'd be interesting to get Overkill's explanation for that, and if it is a bug then it'd be nice to see it get patched. Your video options do not include body count options, even low or off, or color grading whatsoever, despite Overkill saying that color grading was light on performance. So everything's kind of this washed out blue color. And there's no mutators, but again, the Switch isn't really a contender for massive power. I get it. It's a portable on-the-go type thing. I understand some of the changes made to an extent. That's the big caveat here, to an extent. 
don't understand why the throwable or uh, ammo contours aren't in the game, don't understand why there's no crime net filters for difficulty, but to an extent, I understand. It's like Doom 2016, how there's no snap map, which is, is acceptable. It's not great, but it's acceptable. And it's not like any of this really brought a ton to the game. So how about the AI? Well, this is the old Payday 2. None of the improvements from the Sniper beta are in this at all. And the AI's responsiveness in these older builds is tied to the frame rate and the CPU speed, both of which are lacking on the Switch. So the AI is kind of about as brain dead as Al Capone when he left jail. No, really, look it up. He had a disease that was eating his brain. He left jail with a mental capacity of like a 12-year-old, and it was quickly rotting away. He moved to Florida, had a stroke, recovered from his stroke, almost ended up in a coma, recovered from his coma almost, and then his heart just exploded. Just, Yeah, it's kind of hardcore. Actually, heck, Chicago's packed with tons of stories like that. Did you know our mayor during the Great Depression, Mr. Cermak, took a bullet for FDR? Or we lifted the city 20 feet in the air to build the sewer pipes and then reversed the flow of the river to get rid of it all? Yeah, Chicago, Chicago's got great history. We were also home to one of the biggest buildings in the entire world at one point. Wait, what was I talking about? Um, this version of Payday 2 is hard to solo, as the bots are not only unresponsive, but there's zero henchman updates, so they're pretty weak overall with their car fours and lack of shield piercing abilities. And without chat, you really can't play online with puppies all too well, so you might want to grab some Switch owning friends. Up to four people can play wirelessly, no Wi Fi needed. That's a great detail, and being able to communicate in the same room just feels good. It doesn't improve the lack of communication options for online games. But it's neat. I mean, I get it. There's no mic in the Switch, but there could be like a call-out wheel other than just like tapping R at a guy. Like I could be able to like open up like a like a, like an Overwatch, how you can open up the big wheel and you can be like, I need a medic. But now you could be like, oh, defend that thing. S a system like Overwatch or Portal 2's like call-out flags would feel really good here, but it's just not there. But what about Joy? After all, Joy is kind of one of the biggest selling points for Payday 2 on the Switch right now. She is a limited exclusive heister. She's out on the Switch now, and she'll arrive on PC sometime in the future. She's the new youngest heister, 22, and she's a computer hacker. She brings with her the Specialist SMG, a short barrel carbine not unlike the Compact 5. That is, the old Compact 5, before its buffs. And this thing kicks like a mule compared to the Compact 5. It also comes in a Kimbo variant if you just really dislike your shoulders. But as a whole, it's tough to judge them seeing as the Compact 5 got two buffs on PC. The Specialist might be a whole different gun once it arrives on PC, but here it's not particularly great. Huge magazine size, but you're going to be wasting a lot of bullets. She also comes with a generic baton melee with some HTML written all over it. And her perk deck, Hacker, is interesting. I didn't get to play with it at all. Um, I've been trying to invest in Grinder to do this footage, but you get two throwable ECMs that disrupt pagers or hack doors, and they also cause the ECM feedback loop when loud. They're on huge cooldowns, but you cut six seconds out of that with every kill of someone affected by them. They're effectively concussion grenades when in loud, but in stealth, they're a neat way to block a distant pager or disrupt a camera down a hall. It sounds interesting, I just, you know, couldn't play with it here, which is a shame. Speaking of shame, this is the only perk deck in the Switch version with a usable like this. Kingpin, Sicario, Stoic, and Tag Team are off limits. As for Joy herself, how do I put this? Hey Control, how many Nintendo consoles do you own? I got them all. I'm a collector. Yeah, Joy's not written well. A lot of her lines are really lousy gamer talk. I've heard lines talk about Pokemon Go, she calls out random numbers of points for special unit kills, and she keeps talking like how Swedish software developers think gamers talk instead of how actual gamers talk. Her shirt even says, we are gamers. It's a bit obnoxious. She's not terrible, Hilo reference, but yeah, I don't think I'm straying from Sydney once Joy arrives on PC. Again, she's not a bad addition to the game. She could have been better though especially with her being the limited exclusive Switch heister trying to sell copies of the game. But with all that said, Joy isn't terrible. Again, there are worse characters. And that's really all I really have to say about Payday 2 is it's not terrible. It could have been better, but it definitely could have been worse. Payday 2 on Switch is a faithful port and will likely trip up veterans more than it will newbies. But if you're a vet, you probably already own a newer version of the game, so... I don't know, if you commute a ton and own a desktop, sure, Payday 2 on Switch might be worth the money. If you have a laptop, or within a reasonable proximity to your PC at all times, 
or you're on the Master Plan Edition on other consoles, I'm going to say pass on Payday 2 on the Switch. But for newbies, being able to take Payday 2 on the go is an absolute blast. I had fun playing this on the train. Just just look inside yourself though, the Switch version is 50 bucks. the PC one's 45 Pull this one over and decide for yourself if it's worth it to you. I know I'll play this one, just as, not as much as the PC version, but if Doom got you excited for new Switch FPS's, this will surely whet your appetite. Yeah, there's a lot of confounding variables here, especially since it's a port, so all I can really offer you is a question. How often are you at your PC or other big box consoles? If it's more often than not, then stick with the Master Plan Edition or the Ultimate Edition on Steam. The less you are, the more I can recommend the Switch port. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little look at the Switch version. Um, it's definitely an interesting game, and it's interesting to see how this will develop. But until then, until next time, see you around. Hey, I had to edit this in a different program because Sony Vegas would not take my video files. The game capture was just too large, even though it was only an hour, that Vegas was crashing, so I edited this in Premiere. Um, social media links and Patreon are in the description. I have no idea what computers are anymore, if this week is anything to go by.